on page 34 of your handles you want to follow along. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you that you renounce the spiritual force of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin, if so, that I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church that Christ has opened up to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, say, I do. And will you, according to the grace given you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ representatives in the world? If so, say, I will. And to those who will sponsor these these uh, people that are here this morning that are reaffirming their faith that join this church, will you sponsor these candidates, support and encourage them in their Christian life? If so, say, I will. And do you, the congregation, do you as Christ's body the church reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, your response is, we do. We do. Will you nurture one another in Christian faith and life and include this? All of these people now before you in your care. <laughs> According to the examples of Christ, we will surround these churches with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust in God and be found faithful in their services to others. We will pray to them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. So let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of Old and New Testament. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Lord, who is received by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Amen. So as we profess our faith and continue, and we will bring you, ask about your entrance into the Methodist Church. As members of Christ's Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen ministries, if so, that I will. And into this local congregation, as members of this congregation, will you be faithful participants in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? If so, say I will. Members of the household of God, I commend to you all of these people that are here to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. And your response is, we give thanks for all that God has already given you. As members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church to renew our covenant, faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. And that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. The God of all grace who has called us into eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Amen. You're one of us now. directories, things that we forget to give people in the past. So we're going to get you a copy of the uh, conference from this year, directories that we give for you. Okay, that would be great. 
But I went to Ace Hardware the other day, and I'm looking for the right gift to give these. Seriously. And I bought 11 of them. Yeah, because what are we called to do? Build the kingdom of Christ. Right, so we're going to build the kingdom. And you can't build it without a level. So you have to have this. And so each one of you, my wife has one of these, and she says, it's mine, don't touch it. But each one of you, as kingdom builders, as kingdom builders, I want you to put this someplace where you'll use it, and that you will also be reminded that every time that you do of your mission, you're called to build the kingdom. Yeah. I had so much fun with it. <laughs> there you go, Lenny. There you go, Marilyn. There you go, Chris. There, bro. Wait, 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 we missed you. How did you guys get? Yeah. We need the Highlands. Come on up. Come on, Joe and Jerry. The, the reason we, that they need to show up up here is because they were here and they transferred out when they moved away. And guess what? They were called back to the city. So now they're transferring back in. So these are old new members, new old members, whatever they are. <laughs> there we go. Now we got it right. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Well, anyway, so let's pray together as we as we uh, conclude this. God, I'm so grateful for these new members, for the people that you bring into our life, for the people that continue to build this church and grow this community of Christ right here, right in this congregation. We thank you for the work that they will do and for the ministries that they will jump into, and for the ways that they will serve you in this church and all that we do. We expect great things from them. We expect great things from the people that are here that are already members, that they will help them, nurture them, lead them, and show them that through Christian love, that together we can do amazing things. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Don't forget the cake. Most loving, gracious God, we're so grateful for today, for the joy that this day has brought us. We're even thankful for the hard words that we read this morning that Jesus spoke. And how difficult that it is to live into those, and yet we know that's what we're called to do. To turn the other cheek, go the extra mile. 
Pray for those who persecute us. Love our enemies. To the love that's free to give. Because we know that we cannot transform this world until we can pass on that which we have no expectation of return. But we do pray for others and love our neighbors. It is not so that they will love us back, do something for us in return. But it is simply because that's what you ask of us. So we ask this morning as we conclude the, the Sermon on the Mount, as we think about all that that meant and the ways that Jesus contrasted the spirit of the law with the law itself. What it really means to be a follower of Christ. We say that we follow Christ and we're a disciple, then we have to live into everything that he said. So give us the strength and the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of ways that we can do exactly that. Help us in our daily walk to grow deeper. Get stronger. Love more in all that we do. God, we're grateful for the day, for the new members, for all the good ways and the joy that you were given to us. We give you thanks for all things. And we acknowledge in this moment that we take nothing for granted. All comes from you. So we ask everything we ask today. And the one who challenges us, that he also taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.